Hello, how to choose a business activity code for your business. When you are filing your business identification number, I believe you might be asked that code. But if you were not asked that code, when you are filing your business tax return, chances that depend on the form you are filing, you might be requested to enter a business activity code. So where do you find that? Where do you find or how do you choose the business activity code for your online retail business? If you have a business solely online, you do your business online and you sell to the end users of your product, you are a retailer. Even if you are hand making your product you think you are a manufacturer but if you are selling to people that will use your product you are a retailer so to find that business activity code you might first look at the type of business return you will file so if you are a sole proprietor you will file Schedule C. We can just put Schedule C from 1040. So you'll go to irs.gov and you'll tap Schedule C from 1040 to see if that will pull the instructions. So instructions for Schedule C 1040. You will click on that. So that's if you are a sole proprietor. So let's just guess page 18. And that will be the business activity <coughs> code list. So if you are an NLC and you file form 10CC5, you will type form 10 cc5 and it will open it so you will scroll and look for the instructions for form 10 cc5 we usually have the link to those form on our blog ninasoap.com under free download you do not need to enter your email to download anything from our free download so i'm just going to tap 55 for instance and let's scroll down a little bit more and that's the code for business activities if you are and then let see that's as a next cup, you'll go to rs.gov. You know you'll file form 1120s for your business. So you'll tap 2011 uh, 1120s in the search and you look for the instructions. And the instructions, let's guess. 48 and that's principal business activity okay so if you have a private a private label product or you are a reseller like you purchase items at a thrift store to resell on ebay poshmark or mercury or xc or you purchase those products from garage sale or at the store retail arbitrage you do retail arbitrage or you are a printer the mail companies or you are a handmade you have a handmade business model you will go to the form the instruction for the form you will file for your business. Whether you are a sole proprietor, that will be Schedule C instructions, or you are an NLC, that will be instruction for Form 10 CC5, or you are an NLC task as an S-Corp, then you 
look for instruction for form 1120s but all of them will be the same even if you just pull one that is not your business it will be fine too so now that you know um the instruction how to find it you look it up it has multiple codes so pretty much the basic rule is the activity that generates most of your revenue is what you will use is the code is its code you will use but again your business model might change over the years you don't need to change your business activity and if your business activity uh, and compensates multiple codes you can choose one sometimes it might be worth just being general as well so but you can read the instructions and then you go for it so once you choose the number you can just stick to it so let's just pick one to go through it and so you are a retailer because of all of those things that i mentioned when you are making your own products and you are selling it to people that will use it you are a retailer so you will look for retail trade and retail trade and from there you pay attention to the sub categories you'll notice that they have stores on the at the end of each one of them so you'll just keep scrolling And you will notice a non store retailer. And is under retail trade so non-store retailer you have electronic shopping and mail order houses you have vending machine operator so and you have fuel dealers you have other detail selling establishment including door-to-door -door retailing frozen food uh, party plan merchandise coffee break service providers well yeah electronic shopping and mail order houses i will say the first number will be well suited and more than all for online business owners but again if you want to go broad then you can just choose the last number in the list but you have those two to see which one is well suited for your business because you are a retailer but you do not have a brick and mortar establishment that's why they call it non-store retailer so that's where you will find it non-retail still uh, non-store retailers everything before that will have stores in it uh, you know talking about location wise but your location is online so you know that's the session that i found that is well suited for online retail business sees so and if we go back to and that is for that is from schedule that is from form 1120s if we go to form 10cc5 for llc retail trade you locate the retail trade and we just scroll to the next session you have clothing accessory store 
sporting good miscellaneous store retailers and non-store retailers so non-store retailers on page 57 of 1065 non-store retailers and the numbers should be the same so we have 45 for 11 0 45 for 11 0 for electronic shopping and for on instruction for form 1120s and s cup or an s corporation it is on page 49 but on 1065 is on page 57 the numbers are the same so regardless regardless of the form you pull out the numbers will be the same if we go to schedule c and we will locate retail trade And it is here retail trade and non store retailer and you'll have forty five four eleven zero for electronic shopping and mail order houses and that's the same for the forty five four eleven zero 45 for 11 0 for electronic shopping and mail order houses that is you know the business code to use for your business if you sell solely online and you are a retailer whether you are selling your handmade your private label or print on demand or reseller or you are a reseller and usually that number that code <coughs> let's just pull a form here that's 1065 and that code will go on line C business code number that's where the code will go and if we open <coughs> let's go back to irs.gov irs.gov if uh, uh, we bring form 1120s That's corporation. Form eleven twenty S. Business activity code number it will go on line B and yeah so when you are looking for that number and that's your first time using it read the instruction related to the form and choose the number that is best suited for your business model And you can go through it if your um, business activity is not online you can read through it to see which one is best suitable in this video we just want to mention specifically online businesses where to find that code 
thank you so much for your time we thank you very much you all that subscribe to our channel we thank you for all of your comments i'm afiavi libreman creators of Liberman consulting llc youtube channel ninasoap.com our blog and we do have our online stores including liberdownload.com for our digital products liberlabel.com for custom apparels ninasoap.com for natural products Thank you so much for your time.